Who said the Cape Horn was synonymous of freedom? Certainly not Alessandro Di Benedetto, who for the last couple days in the Atlantic South collects the worries. A climb of the mast, a spinnaker that ends in the water, the boat that lies, and to top it all, a broken rib for the Italian. Tanguy de la Motte sympathizes. Hi, Alessandro. Things are getting better here. There's sunshine and it's worth it. So good luck. I have a good thought for you. I'm not far. Anyway, we'll be in the Sable de Lone to welcome you. All right, be strong, my friend. More up north, off Brazil, Dominique Vavre and Jean Le Cam confess unattractive conditions between rough sea, fishing boats, and oil platforms. An extremely hard going night, 20 knots winds, all shaken, with rain, choppy sea, with nine feet aggressive troughs. Anyway, that's it. A little similar as yesterday and the day before. I was able to sleep a half hour this morning. I couldn't sleep during the night. The warrant officer, I like it when it hurts, sent us four days, four days of hell. He forced us to sail towards Rio, alongside the coastlines with impossible currents and sea. Thank you, warrant officer. I like it when it hurts. I hope he hasn't more of those surprises in the future. In the North Atlantic, less than a week away from the arrival, François Gabard and Armel Leclerc are going to face the Azores anti-cyclone. Caught between equipment protection and weather forecast analysis, Armel Leclerc racks his brains. Normally, François started slowing down now. Then he'll catch the winds a little ahead of us. So we'll hope by being more in the west to gain some pressure for a little longer time. The end of the race may be fast, agitated because of the strong leading wind, rolling and tossing sea. Gotta be on the lookout not to go off, notably in the Gascogne Gulf and in Les Abdelogne. I'm not sure upon arrival that people will be motivated to go on the water and to get sick. 